Hi, welcome to Sports Bike Shorts video on how to change the visor on a Kberg Duke 2 helmet. So, first thing we do is open up the visor. Now, what we'll do, if we look, take a look at the side of the helmet, there is an arrow on the base plate, and there is also an arrow on the visor. So you need to line these two arrows up, and then the visor is in the correct position to be removed. From there, the center part of this is a little slider. You're gonna slide that towards the back of the helmet. And then we're just gonna pick the visor away from the helmet. We'll spin the helmet around and do uh, the other side. So again, just double check these two arrows are lined up correctly. Slider, just gonna slide back and pick the visor off the helmet. And that's how you remove the visor. So whilst we're here, we're gonna uh, show you the internal visor as well. The internal visor is operated with a slider on the top of the helmet here. To remove it, it's actually done easier, in my opinion, with the, the chin bar open. So we're just going to open up the chin bar of the helmet. Okay, so we'll make sure the internal visor is down. I'm just going to get my, uh, my helmet donut. So there are three parts to removing this internal visor. Each side is located. There's a, a permanent peg in between the EPS and the shell itself. They just pull out but there's actually one in the center. Uh, so you're gonna need something to remove. Uh, it's like a, like a latch, like an L-shaped latch. So you just need to lift that away and then the center will drop out. I have a, a screwdriver with a, a flat head on. Obviously, if you're using anything metallic, just be very careful not to scratch the visor itself. You could use a biro, you could use a lollipop stick. Obviously, you won't risk uh, scratching the visor. But we're gonna pull this down as far as it allows. Hopefully, you can see that then. And then in the center, there's a little latch. I'm just going to lift that and drop it out. And you can see in this cutout, that's where it was located. Once we've got the center bit out, it's all plain sailing. We're just going to take hold. I'm just going to pull one side and the other. And there we have it. That's the internal visor taken out. So to replace it, I'm going to locate the outsides first and we'll do the center the last point so we're going to look down this small gap here and you'll see a peg and that obviously needs to locate here so we're just going to look down there and i'm just going to give it a good firm push and that's that in place same on this side done now this bit is the bit that actually allows the visor to move up and down so you need to take hold of the slider on the top of the helmet and just stop it rocking back when you push this up. And then all we're gonna do is locate it in there, give it a gentle push, and you'll hear it click into place. Then just make sure it operates correctly. And that's the internal visor back on. So I will get rid of my helmet stand. And we're just gonna close the helmet up. Okay, so to re replace the external visor, Obviously, we mentioned at the beginning the arrows, exactly the same for placing it back on. So make sure your arrows are lined up. There's a little uh, bit of plastic kind of lug sticking out there. That just needs a little bit of pressure to drop underneath the, uh, the grey circle bit. And then I'm just going to pop the lever back in and then just push the front in. And make sure that this latch goes all the way back over. You don't want it to sit proud. Of, uh, if I just remove this again, you can see there's a, a bit of plastic again sticking out past this circle you cut out. You've got to make sure it goes all the way back, otherwise when you open the visor, it's just going to ping off again. All the way over. So I'll spin the helmet round. Same on this side. So arrows first, the rear part, the lever, the front bit. I'm done. We'll open and close the visor. Make sure you've got a good visor seal top and bottom. And there we go. So that's how you change the visor on a Kberg Duke 2. Thanks for watching.